Hello again, I am Blunty and this little beastie here is a hotly anticipated bit of kit uh, for you gamers out there who like to record your video gameplay so you can do commentaries or playthroughs or uh, guides or whatever you're doing here on YouTube and from other video sharing type sites. It's the HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition. Now, the original HD PVR was the most popular way for people to record their gameplay and this is the follow-up one and what is basically new about this aside from some design cues and things like that is it now includes a HDMI in and out plus 1080p no delay pass-through which means you can plug your HDMI from your Xbox into this and then out again and back into your TV and there's no delay of that feed so your uh, timing isn't messed up in game while it can still record the absolute best quality gaming footage that you're capable of spitting out basically so then this has just arrived, so my review will come once I've had time to test it. This box is actually still sealed up and everything. I thought I might as well do a bit of an unboxing because people are very, very excited about this. Quick look at the tech specs on the side of the box. It's got a hardware encoder, which means your computer doesn't have to do the heavy lifting. H.264 AVC HD high definition video encoder, which is basically the same as what you get on Blu-ray discs. Uh, and a recording resolution 1080p 30 from HDMI or 1080i from component video. No delay HDMI pass-through, we talked about that already. Recording rate from 1 to 12 megabits a second, so you can uh, prioritize either quality or recording time. And uh, blah, 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 HDMI, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, The rest of it's kind of boring, really, all standard stuff. We'll get to that. Back in the box, giving you all the basic nitty-gritties of the device. HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition records high-definition video from a Sony PlayStation 3 or Microsoft Xbox 360 onto your Windows laptop or desktop PC in a high-definition H.264 format. Make video recordings of your very best gameplay in HD. Upload your favorite games to YouTube and share them with other gamers online. Or make a high-definition movie of your game to share with friends and use it to discuss tactics with your clan members. You can also play your game recordings back through your PC screen after transferring them through the home network. Blah, 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 blah. And just in case you're a complete thicky you can't figure it out, your gaming console goes in and your HDTV goes out of the output there and the, and the USB goes to your computer. <laughs> so let's uh, take a knife to the seal here and have a look what we're in for. Pop it open. I have to be careful with this because it is just a loaner unit that I actually have to send back so I don't want to destroy the box this time like I did with my Nexus 7 unboxing. <laughs> so let's look at the cables first. As you can see they are extremely generous when it comes to the cables. We have two HDMI cables here, one for in, one for out. Obviously that makes a lot of sense. You've got your nice long USB cable here that's for connecting the encoder up to your computer directly. And this one is a set of multi-component output cables for Xbox and PS3. And uh, so Weaver looks of things. Three different outputs there in one cable. Very, very handy. And what have we got here? Oh, no, oh, one more. And little PS3 component output cables there as well. So you can hook directly into your PS3 because quite frankly, most people are going to use this. They're going to use it with their Xbox or with their PS3. And you can't use the HDMI with the PS3 because it has that protection encoding all the way through its system. Whereas the Xbox 360 does not. So you need to use component when you're using the PS3. Further down the box here, we've got a little white box, which is probably your power adapter, I would guess. And in this case, it's the Australian one because this is the local edition. So we'll just untwine that for the moment because we're going to need to plug him in in a moment anyway. And, of course, the unit itself. So, quite a complete kit straight out of the box. You've got everything you could possibly need to get up and running immediately. There's no bugging around, no, oh, I need that cable and I didn't put it in the box. Nothing of all that nature. So, as you can see, the design has been... Uh, well, it's much more elegant than the original one. The original one was quite boxy in its design. It was literally just a box about the size of a Mac Mini, I guess. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect on the back panel. You've got your HDMI in for going into the unit, HDMI out for going out of the unit. And of course, that's the lag-free connection that spits out directly so it doesn't make your video game lag. So your gameplay isn't impacted while you're trying to record and feeding it through multiple devices, blah, blah, blah. AV in for your uh, component stuff, USB for going to your computer. And of course, your DC input and a couple of little blinking lights to show you when it's on and operating etc. So there we go and the little green blinking light we are powered on and it's a bit hard to see because I've got quite bright video lights going on here but uh, let's turn these off and see if we can get a clear idea of that nice glow. So there you go a nice soft blue glow around the bar there I don't know why it doesn't go all the way around I thought it might but apparently it doesn't. 
There we go with the lights back on we can see properly again and underneath we can see lots and lots and lots of little holes for ventilation because video encoding does tend to generate a lot of heat and when you're doing it for uh, you know up to half an hour or more at time when you're recording extended gameplay stuff that's really important so all the air gets sucked in there there are no fans running this is all convention so the cool air gets drawn up through the bottom by convention and out the back the warm air will waft gently and silently. And of course your software and your manual, which should go without saying, but uh, I guess it had to go with saying because this is an unboxing and they were in the box, so that is over mentioned as well. The reason I did this quick and dirty unboxing is to let you guys know what was coming, because I know a lot of people are vibrating furiously with anticipation about this. It's very exciting for the guys who like to record their gameplay videos. So what do you need to know? What do you want me to approach in the review? Are there any little quirky things that the old version didn't do that you're wondering if this one does? All that kind of stuff. Now is your time to ask me while I'm preparing a review. I only have this unit for a week or two is uh, in high demand and they're they're barely hitting shelves right now and uh, the the local Australian distributors that were very very generous to let me borrow this one uh, uh, on a moment's notice basically I got the press release on Friday and I wrote to them and said I know people on my channel are gonna be really excited about this I get asked about this kind of stuff all the time do you have any review units? And they said, well, we can probably let you have one for a week or two. Is that going to work for you? And I went, yeah, all right. So anyway, get in your questions for the Hopag, Hapage, Hapagi. I've heard people pronounce it all kinds of ways. Hopog, I like to call it. HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. What do you need to know? What do you want to know? What do you want to see me do? Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.